Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. The topic of discussion is disadvantages of classful addressing. And in my previous video lecture, I have explained in detail about class A, class B, class C, class D and class E addressing that comes. These are the different types of classes in classful addressing. And also for each of the class, I have explained in my previous video lectures how to determine the network address that is the first address and the last address that is the broadcast address in all these class A, class B, class C. So with an example, I have explained. Now coming to the next topic, we actually have two types of addressing in IPv4. One is the classful addressing and another is the classless addressing. So before we move on to the classless addressing, we need to know here what are the disadvantages of classful addressing. Hope you people remember that class A addresses, okay, any type of IPv4 address is basically divided into two sections. One is the network part and another is the host part. And the total uh, number of bits that are used into represent an IPv4 address is how many? 32 bits. So here in class A addressing, class A addressing we have, we have seen that how many bits? 8 bits are used for the network part and 24 bits are used for the host part. This is for class A. Class B, class B is how many? 16 bits are used for the network part and 16 bits are used for the host ID. And in class B, class C, we have 24 bits used for the network part and 8 bits are used for the host ID. Now, class Class D is multicast addressing and class C addresses are meant for the future purpose or reserved for the future use. Now, coming to these three classes, class A, class B, class C. So the main reason for moving to the classless addressing that you need to know. The main reasoning reason here is IP, more IP addresses are getting wasted. IP addresses are wasted. So how IP addresses are wasted? Look here, class A address, it is 8 bits. So, how many networks are possible? 2 to the power of 8. And moreover, one more thing you have to remember that class A in binary notation or any, and this one, uh, the representation that is the 32 bits that are used to represent a class A, the very first bit will be what? 0, which indicates what? The class. So, 0 indicates the starting bit here indicates it is a class A address. So, if it is like that, if it is 0 is taken away from this 8 bits, there are remaining how many? 7 bits. 2 to the power of 7 is what? 128 networks. In class A, 128 networks are possible. And how many? 24 bits are there. So, 2 to the power of 24 hosts are there. So, these many hosts are there in each of the network. Normally, an organization, when it takes a particular IP address block, these 224, 2 to the power of 24 addresses becomes too huge for an organization. They may not be uh, able to allocate these addresses to all the employees in that organization, whether even the biggest of biggest organization will what will go, if they go for this kind of class A block, definitely more IP addresses get wasted. And moreover, you just see the number of networks in the whole of this complete Okay, world 2 to the power of 7, that is 128 networks, only 128 networks are possible here. E e networks are less and in each network number of IP addresses are more. So that is not at all useful for any organization. Most of the IP addresses go wasted. Crores of IP addresses go wasted. Then even if you take the class B address, in class B 16 bits are there for the network part, 16. And the first two bits are what? Indicates the class type. So it is class B. If a IP address starting with 1, 0, it indicates what? It is a class B address. So 2 to the power of 14, you have 16,384 networks. And in each network, more than a crore host, uh, that is more than a crore IP addresses are uh, possible. So even even though it, it is a, like a mid-size, but still many organizations may not prefer the block from the class B also. The reason is, once again, more number of IP addresses, they may not be able to utilize all those addresses. It goes wasted. Next comes class C. Class C, you have 24 bits and 110 is what meant. It indicates the type of the class. Here it is class C. So 2 to the power of 21. These many networks are possible in class C. And in each network, 
how many only 256 addresses so this type of division is not at all useful for any type of organization if you take even a very small organization okay later if suppose if they accept this class class c block of ip addresses they may be able to take 256 but later they may there may be a need of more number of ip addresses the organization is growing more number of employees are there in the organization hence they require more number of ip addresses and 256 address in the network is not at all sufficient so here more number of ip addresses are there in the network here also more number of ip addresses but here very less number of ip addresses are there in the network so this is what is the reason for moving to the the other type of addressing in ipv4 it is called as classless addressing this is one thing this is one of and definitely to maintain a network with more number of host actually if there is any fault whether it is a software problem or hardware problem very difficult to track hence these kind of if this kind of blocks of ipv4 are prone to errors and tracking of errors become very difficult so with this kind with this problem now we shall see the next uh, type of addressing the classless addressing have a new